Jewelers, jewelers, jewelers. I'm so excited today. Today is not just about making jewelry, though we're going to make a little cute little piece, but this all about what I got in the mail this week. Just what I got in the mail. I got me an electrical cutter tool. That's right. And you're like, well, Des, don't you already have a pair? Why, yes, yes I do. I have a pair, but I've had them for 10 years. And after 10 years, they're not cutting as well as they used to be. But I want to show you. I want to show you. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm being, I want to show you how amazing this tool is for you being a jewelry maker. You need tools. Every jewelry maker needs tools. But for me, I am diehard electrical cutter tools these things cut like butter cut like butter through any kind of wire some people are like you need special cutters for memoir you need special cutters for this no 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 my friend if you're a jeweler and you love your tools you're gonna want to add these to your collection because oh, i'm so oh my gosh ah let's get this open i'm so die hard about this oh, look at this ah i'm so excited oh. They're pretty, they're pretty small and they're pretty easy in my, they're pretty easy in my hand. But see this baby right here? Yeah, see that baby? That is the magic that happens because this, my friend, can cut through any kind of wire. I'm going to show you today. I'm going to cut through, I'm going to cut through a head pin. I'm going to cut through a memory wire and show you how great these are and how I totally recommend you get yourself a pair. So let's go and make a memory bracelet, but mainly let's highlight this amazing tool that you just need to have. All right, let's go. So this is what you're gonna need to make your memory wire bracelet. Now again, we're not talking about the bracelet, we're talking about these electrical cutter tools. So I'm really excited to make this memory wire bracelet, but it's really all about these electrical cutter tools that I have used for 10 years. I need a new pair, so I got them and I'm super excited. But I wanna showcase to you what these electrical cutter tools can really do. So we don't need this kind of wire, but I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to cut through this wire with no problem, because this is gonna be the, the easiest wire out of the wires I'm using today. So again, I just go where I want it and Oh, ha, ha. that literally felt like no effort or effort at all. I love it. I just wanted to show you how amazing it is with wire. Um, the, the wire used for necklaces. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then, so to make this necklace, I want two beads that dangle off this bracelet. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to put my head pin through my bead and I am going to cut, oh, and this is a head pin, just a regular head pin. I'm going to use my new wire cutters to cut through... Oh my goodness, I didn't feel any effort. That's so cool, that's so cool. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend back at a 90 degree angle and I am going to make my loop for this bead. And just like that, man, and these wire cutters, they're so amazing. I love electrical cutter tools. I say it every video I do to get electrical cutter tools if you can, and I just recommend, and I'll put the link below where I got mine. And so you can totally go and buy the same ones I did, or you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they have electrical cutter tools. So to make this bracelet, the rest of this bracelet, I'm going, I want it to be look like a five strand bracelet. So I am going to kind of count off uh, five, loops and this is a pretty hard wire to cut this this is not really an easy one to cut but i'm telling you with my new electric cutter tools oh and it gave a little it was a little bit it was a little hard but not compared to if you use regular jewelry cutter tools not oh my goodness that was so easy so then the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to bend my first part of my wire around so that is where my bead will stop. So I bent it around in a loop and my beads are gonna stop here. Now I've made this bracelet before. And so you, um, and so I'm, I'm just gonna do a really quick review. Um, with this one, I wanna make it look like I have five bracelets that I'm wearing instead of just one, which is just gonna be one, right? And so I'm representing each each strand by a row of beads. So I'm gonna put all these beads on, these beads on, these, these, and these in the order that I want. So I just put my first bead on, I'm just gonna put my first bead on, and I'm gonna keep stringing them until I put all my beads on. So go ahead and put all your beads on. Okay, putting on my last bead on this bracelet. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close up this gap right here using my round nose pliers. I'm gonna make it and loop it around, loop it around. And you know, we cut the head pins for these beads and made loops. And I like to add the extra touch. So we have them still. I like to add the extra touch 
of adding these at the end of my bracelet here so it doesn't look just like wire. So I'm going to add these to the end of my bracelet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Close up the loop because you don't want to gap or your little dangly bead will fall off. And then go to my other side. And there you have this amazing bracelet, all for using these electrical cutter tools. I love it. I've been cutting a couple things, and I love cutting the memory wire. I love cutting the head pins. I love cutting the wire. This just really is an amazing tool for you as a jeweler. Now they do have these. This is this is what comes with the set of other pliers, the long nose pliers, round nose pliers, and they work for really close spaces that you need to get really close. But they get dull really quickly with in a month or two and as I said before I had a pair just like this for 10 years and just recently it started to go dull after using it for 10 years so I would highly recommend they're a little bit more expensive than just getting a jeweler cutter tool but these lasted 10 years and these last two months so you know you do the math but I would so recommend these electrical cutter tools now this bracelet is hecka cute it looks like five and one I, lo I love I love 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 but but even though this is hecka cute, the real star of the day are these cute electrical tools. That's right. I call them cute. Sorry, electricians. I think they're really cute and they really are great. I prefer these any days of the week and I, I just love these. And no, they are not a sponsor. This, whoever made this brand did not sponsor me. I just really want to show you products I love and I want to review them. So if you like this product review, then comment below and tell me if you want other product reviews, like other reviews on other tools or beads or wires or whatever. But if you like this product, review or want to see more product review then comment below I'd love to hear your thoughts but I just really want to share with you what I like and the things that I use so it can make your life that much easier so if you want to know where I get these or you want to buy a pair just like mine you can go to the description below and click on the link and it'll take you to the website where you can buy a pair of your own but that's all I got for you guys today thank you so much for tuning in I do other videos and so here's a video from another memory wire I did it's more just descriptive again today. This was the star of the day. So if you want to learn more about the memory wire bracelet, you can go and click this video. And then here's another one of my videos. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, click right here. But again, I love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later. Mwah! I love you. Bye.